What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to give my review score predictions for Mass Effect Legendary Edition. That's right, we're almost there. We got around two weeks left to wait for this beautiful, hopefully, hopefully, beautiful, beautiful game to release. And obviously, this is a little bit different than when we do review score predictions for other things. You know, I do it for all sorts of movies, I do it for all sorts of games. Obviously, this is a little bit different because these games have already come out. So, you know, you have to look at them, I think, through a lens of remastered right what does it need to do to be worth and we talked about this a little bit before right being worth paying basically money to replay the same game even though that's not exactly you know what it is right but i want to talk about you know what the other games got on metacritic what i think that critics will give this game what the good could be what the bad could be okay we're gonna do that all in this video really quickly if you guys have not yet already make sure you guys are subscribed here make sure you guys do have the bell icon turned on many many people that do watch my videos are not subscribed we're pushing really hard for 50k. I think we can hit it really, really soon. We just need a lot of people that aren't subbed to sub. And final thing is I do have a second channel. If you guys want to check out my second channel, it's called Podcast Now Plus. You can obviously look it up on YouTube or the link for that is in the description below. All right, so going to Metacritic, which is where I go for these kind of things. Now, again, to, to make it very clear, and I know this kind of gets confusing because I do all these videos on review scores. And I talk about review scores when they're out. I talk about review scores when, uh, you know, games or in movies are coming out with that being said I do it because it's fun I do it because it's interesting yes if it's got a really high score it is gonna catch my eye yes if it's got a really low score it's gonna catch my eye but generally for the actually almost 99% of the time I make my decisions by myself you know what I mean I go off of the gameplay I go off of trailers I go off of my own interests I don't go based off of what IGN or GameSpot or these you know these Polygon Kotaku I don't care what they say ever and so I certainly don't care what they say about some of these games okay in terms of reviews but you go to metacritic mass effect the first game had an 89 mass effect 2 you know uh, which if you were around during the time of mass effect 2 was one of the biggest not just one of the biggest games but also one of the most well received games it got a 90 Four, which is one of the highest Metacritic scores average. And remember, Metacritic does the average of all the scores. Uh, Mass Effect 2 is one of the highest reviewed games of all time, up there with Red Dead Redemption and 2, The Last of Us, Uncharted. Uh, I think Uncharted 2 is one of the higher ones, too. So this is definitely top tier, like top 1%, basically. But again, 94. Then the Mass Effect 3 dropped back down to an 89, which is actually a lot higher than I thought. I didn't know what the scores were for Mass Effect and Mass Effect 3. I knew Mass Effect 2 was actually kind of high. Um, I'm actually shocked because I thought Mass Effect was not as well received as I guess it was because I know there were a lot of issues, but obviously it did jumpstart an amazing, legendary, basically, franchise. And the Mass Effect 3... You know, obviously had a lot of hate. I don't, I'm not even going to look at what the user score is for that because I know the user score probably isn't very high because of the ending. But those are the scores, okay? So, you know, again, when when you're looking at this, when we're predicting what, you know, the Legendary Edition can get, obviously these games are already out. But this is a remaster, right? And in, in, in other ways, and we've said this before as well, Mass Effect, the first Mass Effect game, is more of a remake than a remaster. In fact, that's what EA said. EA said it does, or I guess the developers, right, BioWare, they've said that Mass Effect 1 kind of leans more towards a remake than it would a classic remaster, where a lot of things are elevated much, much more than they would be for a remaster. So, you know, you, you don't judge them, I would say, all apart. I think you judge them together. And the thing with remasters and even remakes when it comes to review scores that's always confused me is, like, how exactly do you grade them? So, like, if it's a remaster or remake off of a bad game, can it still get an extremely high score? Because is the point of the review and is the point of the score simply to measure how well they lifted that game up to current standards? So if you remaster a game, how well was that game remastered? If it's a remake, how well was that specific game remade? You know what I mean? How much does how good the game actually is factor in? And that's always kind of puzzled me in terms of how they do it and that's kind of the thing for this like we know these games are still going to have now we don't know all of the issues right because a lot of the issues that plagued mass effect one probably are i mean okay it may be like jinxing it to say it, it may be kind of premature to say it but they seem to be gone like they seem to really have isolated a lot of issues that were in that especially the base game you know mass effect 2 is pretty much a perfect game okay mass effect 3 I mean, Mass Effect 3's gameplay is one of the best. I, I Actually, I really love Mass Effect 3's gameplay. I love its 
its high stakes nature. I love its missions. I love its characters, all that stuff. It's pretty much just the ending that's very polarizing to people. So like even that game, really it's Mass Effect 1 that had a lot of the more fundamental game issues let's just call it right and a lot of those have been fixed so again you look at it and you say okay well then it simply i think comes down to how much of an improvement visually how it runs how it loads all this stuff how much better is it than the you know the original g games right mass effect one again is probably going to have the biggest jump because of, of how old you know the original mass effect is and then how big of a leap or how big of a gap i guess is in between that and this close to remake version okay but the mass effect 2 and 3 a little bit younger right we haven't had you know, they haven't been out as long as mass effect and there isn't as much to fix or update especially as you can like especially when you get to mass effect 3 there certainly is like i don't expect the exact i don't want a port I, i'm not paying for a port i'm paying for a remaster right we all are um but i think that one would be the closest to like oh Maybe there's not the biggest differences in the world between Mass Effect 3 and then this Mass Effect 3 remastered. But another thing you have to think of, too, is the, kind of the value. I look at the value, too, and we, we've said this before, where it's like three games. Three games that get uh, that, that have a lot in them. So you're, you're paying $60 for three games that each of which are $60, really, you know, in the first place. And you also get the DLC, to which there is quite a bit, right? So you're getting much more, you know, additional content for all these games. Now, what you don't get is the multiplayer. That kind of sucks. I've, I've spoken up about that before. I'm actually kind of disappointed in that because I never really played Mass Effect 3's multiplayer all that much, but I certainly would now in 2021, and then they don't bring it back, which, I mean, I understand it. I get why they didn't do it. Um, I understand, like, the logistics behind it, but it's kind of disappointing. But I really think this game is going to get super high score. So let me, I, I've, I've said enough, you know, kind of fluff. I don't mean to, and I don't actually think it's fluff, but let me say my predictions for this game is going to be and I'll, I'll limit it i'm gonna say an 89 to a 91 somewhere in the very high eights to the low nines and, and again i think that's just because it's going to be a very uh like valued package like it's going to be full of value and you're going to be getting your money's worth it's going to have all of this content that we know is amazing you know what i mean like maybe not every single thing uh, in mass effect 1 2 and 3 is perfect and is amazing but like generally these are insanely good games and you're putting them all together you're upping it for for you know the current times you're giving us all this additional content that you know back then obviously we had to pay for it's been enhanced it, it's gonna look better mass effect one i know i've said it before like for me i've never played mass effect one i know there's a lot of other people out there that have never played one that this is gonna be their first time doing it i mean it's awesome it's awesome so it's i think uh, it's a much safer game. You know what I mean? Like, if it gets, like, a, a 70, I would seriously question what in God's name EA is doing, right? Now, with that being said, this is the first big remastered thing that they've done. They've done other ones, but this is the first big one that they've thrown kind of everything in. And as I've said before, I think when when this, it's not even if this, when this sells well, which it will, I think we're going to probably get more. I really think Dead Space could be the next one that we get. I know people have thrown around other games as well that EA could bring back. I really do believe that that could happen. So I want this game to do good, not even just for Mass Effect, and also just to kind of get hype up for the next one, right? Because I really think uh, it would be a good time. Yes, I know the next Mass Effect is probably still years away, but like now is the time where you start to like elevate how much of promotion you do for it, even though it is years away. And I think it gets uh, people excited for what future remastered games can be. And again, it's kind of a safe thing when you're remastering one of the best trilogies in gaming. It's very hard to do this wrong. You know what I mean? If you do it wrong, then you pressed... Uh, you pressed a button when you probably shouldn't have and you like downgrade everything instead of upgrade everything and obviously that could be the problem that person should be fired but i think this game is going to be pretty darn safe so let me know guys in the comments below what do you think what do you think the review scores are going to be what do you think some of the things that the critics are going to say are going to be let me know as always again make sure you guys are subscribed make sure you guys have the bell icon turned on we're going to continue the mass effect coverage i'll be live streaming these games i'll be playing them there'll be videos on them all that stuff so i've covered it for several months now leading into it and then we'll be covering Covering it when the game is actually out. And again, if you want to subscribe to my second channel as well, Podcast Now Plus is its name. Links in the description, or you can look it up on YouTube. Thank you for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. I hope to see you all on the next video.